channel. My name is Ryan Michelle. Today's video is part four of my spring cleaning series. Um, we have tons to do in my entryway today. We are doing tons of spring cleaning. I'm cleaning the bathroom, I'm cleaning the main part, which I'm standing here right now, and I'm cleaning out the um, command station. So tons of cleaning. I also have a grocery haul. It's just, this video is just jam packed with tons of motivation and tons of inspiration. Today's video is extra special because it is a collab with Sean over on Squeaky Clean Life. Y'all, Sean is so sweet. She has been such an amazing friend here on YouTube. We actually started our channels around the same time and it's just amazing to just have a friend, a sisterhood here on YouTube with her. If you don't know who Sean is, her channel is amazing. She does tons of cleaning, decluttering, she does organizing, she does laundry. She also does seasonal decor, home decor, she does it all. So I know you guys are going to love her. She's also a mom of two and a wife. So, but I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Hey y'all, I'm Sean. I'm a wife and a stay-at-home mom of two. I enjoy creating cleaning motivational videos. Over on my channel, I'm also doing a spring cleaning series filled with tons of deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I think you guys would really enjoy it. I'd love for you to come over and check out my video once you're done watching Ryan's video. Be sure to let me know that Ryan sent you so that I can welcome you in the comments. Ryan, thank you so, so much for collaborating with me on today's video. And I cannot wait to see you guys over there. All right, y'all, so once you get done watching today's spring clean with me, make sure you head over to Sean. I know she has tons of spring cleaning over there too today, so make sure you check out her channel after you get done watching today's video. If you are coming over from Sean's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ryan Michelle. I hope you enjoy my content enough to subscribe and join my family. I would love to have you, and if you are coming over from Sean's channel, make sure you let me know down in the comment section so I can welcome you, and yeah, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this video is jam-packed with motivation. The bathroom was pretty disgusting, so we'll be doing tons of deep cleaning in there. And um, I'm not, I'm actually not feeling too well, but I pushed through it because I needed to get this cleaning done. And um, yeah, let's hop right in. All right, y'all, so this is day one. Day one, we will be doing a deep cleaning in this half bathroom downstairs. It was pretty filthy in here, so I'll be cleaning the grout. I'll be deep cleaning the toilet. I'll be pulling it apart. But let me know down in the comment section if you are cleaning along with me today or are you just watching for motivation? So this side is a little bit more difficult to get because I cut my finger the other day and uh, when I'm trying to turn it, it hurts and it's kind of hard for me to get my right hand under there to twist it. So yeah, this is going to be a struggle. It's such an awkward area. I got it, y'all. <laughs> I got it. Wouldn't hold it against you if you say that you don't. So I am so happy that I did do this because it was very much needed. It was really disgusting underneath the toilet seat. Let me know down in the comment section if you have ever did this. I feel like it is a must, especially if you have boys. This is pretty disgusting. 
just hope I remember. I can remember how to put it back on. But kind of new to me a feeling it too And love me like yesterday Before we get too far into the video, I just wanted to introduce myself before I forget y'all. I always forget to introduce myself, but my name is Ryan Michelle. I am a military wife and a stay at home mom of three. On my channel, I create tons of home content from cleaning, laundry, home decor inspiration, decluttering, organization, all of that good stuff. If that's the type of content you like watching, I would love to have you. If you are coming over from Sean's channel or if you are just new here, hello and welcome to my channel. For all of my loyals, you guys know I love you guys so much and I appreciate your support on each and every video. We are super close to 11K and I just wanted to welcome everybody who's new here. I hope you guys are enjoying the cleaning motivation. I hope you are getting tons of motivation, spring cleaning motivation. I do have a playlist down in my description box. This is part four. So I have all of the other episodes on that playlist. So if you need some serious spring cleaning to get your house in order for the next season, definitely check out that playlist. It's like stained or something but um I can't really do nothing about that but um they're clean they are nice and clean and this is clean all of this is clean the inside of here it's clean underneath was disgusting so that's clean too I want to clean it probably one more time but um now I want to clean those little things that were in there but this is what the water looks like Maybe and um these are these are just pretty much stained so but um yeah i'm gonna scrub them down with the green pad they have soaked
So to clean my grout, I will be using a toilet bowl cleaner. I got this hack from my other sis, Torin, over at Getting My Life Together at 50. When I tell y'all, I absolutely love the results. You guys are going to see if you keep watching. But y'all, this really works. I really don't, I'm not a fan of the smell. I really don't clean with bleach like that because of the smell. But I had to open up windows and the door. But besides the smell, y'all, this is amazing like the grout looks so good after i finished They know uh, I feel so much for you That I don't know what to do <laughs> Cause someone was before you And someone let me go It's time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you And someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones some say love will only bring you down Some say love can feel much better now, better now But will you let me down? But will you let me down? But will you let me down? So here I'm just like triple lining the trash can so I don't have to clean the trash can out again for a very long time hopefully. I got that hack from my lovely subscriber Jody. Thank you so much Jody. I appreciate y'all so much when y'all give me tons of tips and tricks and hacks to do around my house. It just makes life so much easier.
Hey y'all, so day two, I have a grocery haul and I have tons of more deep cleaning motivation. I'll be cleaning the entryway area and then I'll be cleaning out that closet. It was so messy in there. So I will be doing all of that after I get done putting up the groceries and um, restocking everything. I have all of that to do, but y'all, this was so satisfying. Like once, like Lauren was taking a long nap this day and I got so much taken care of. I was able to wash my vegetables. Well, not the vegetables. I was able to wash the fruit and cut the fruit up. And I was able to do a lot while she was sleeping. So I hope y'all enjoy. All right, y'all, now that everything is out, I'm just gonna go over everything really quick. Um, let's start on this side. So I got some Tide Pods. This was the last one, y'all. I told y'all on my last video that stuff is short around here and it's not much of anything on the shelves. This was the last one. I got some um, bleach because I'm doing a lot of deep cleaning and I feel like I could use some bleach. I don't normally buy bleach, but feel like it was needed for deep cleanings. Got some OxyClean White Revive. This is how I keep my white clothes white. Some vinegar. I got some um, razors. Some Dove Bar Soap. Some uh, body wash Dove. I like to get the bar and the body wash. I know, weird. I got some SOS patch. I said get this for uh, my oven. So we're going to give that a try. And then I got some Vaseline. Some toner. And um, Lauren, I got her some new cups. Peppa Pig cups. Some green pads. And I got some um, family size chicken and broccoli pasta bake. Um, the Delights breakfast bowl with the turkey and sausage. This was really good. I ate this the other day. The other one that I bought. I got three of these frozen macaroni and cheese. Lauren eats those. They're actually pretty good. I'll eat them too. And then I got some um, Red Baron four cheese pizza. Some hot dogs. And some bacon. And I got these... Um, Pocket pies, broccoli, potato, and cheddar. These are really good. Lauren eats these too. Lauren is super picky, y'all. And I got some chicken fries. And then I got some natural um, chicken nuggets. These were all they had. I usually don't buy this kind, but this is all that they had. And this bag was like six, almost seven dollars. Um, then I got some of these um, smoothie drinks. I seen these on Ebony's channel. So, I mean, I've tried them before, but it's been a minute since I've um, got these. Sometimes I don't eat, and with what I got going on with my um, vitamin D levels, um, I need to start eating. And sometimes I don't feel like cooking, so I feel like these maybe will substitute something that I need, you know. Then I got some sour cream, some um, salted butter, some grape juicy juice white grape juicy juice two things of the very good honest kids juice pouches um they were out of two percent organic milk and um yeah i didn't have a choice today so yeah i ended up getting whole milk organic whole milk i got some bread um two things of asparagus i didn't get any meat on this because I have a lot of meat in the deep freezer so I didn't get um, I didn't get any meat other than that frozen chicken fries and chicken nuggets but I got two things of asparagus some bananas oranges apples I have two bags of oranges strawberries um, blackberries and then I got um, some broccoli 
some plums, lettuce. And I got some um, three cheese prego sauce. I usually get ragu, but I wanted to get this one today. Got some Pringles, um, the chip bag mix, yogurt pouches. Um, my son told me to get these and they better eat them. <laughs> but this is new and they're granola bars, well chocolate brownies. And then I got these chewy bars because they have been killing the chewy bars. Then I got um, this one too. And I got this uh, box macaroni and cheese. And then I got my coffee because I'm just about out of y'all. So yeah, that is it for this grocery haul and I'm going to put everything away. And now that that's done, I'm just going to wash out my sink so I can start washing my fruit. And I'll be using the veggie wash. I can't think of the name of it, but you'll see it soon. But um, I just used the last bit of it and I probably won't be buying that no more. I'll just be using water and vinegar to wash my fruit from now on. And then I'll be storing my fruit inside of some mason jars. I did get that idea from TikTok. So hopefully the fruit will stay fresh a lot longer, even though we do eat fruit a lot around here and it usually lasts about maybe three to four days. My kids and I, we eat a lot of fruit. You are not alone. I'm here with you. I think you owe it to this beautiful night to lose all your control. Do it for you. Let me show you a plan. So if you are still here and watching, let me know where you are watching from. Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, let me know what the weather is like. Have you guys got any spring weather just yet? Here in Germany, we had um, some sun. We've been getting a lot of sunshine here, but yesterday was like really bipolar. Like the weather didn't know what it wanted to do. It snowed and then the sun came back out. Then it snowed again and then the sun came back out. Like, I don't know what is going on with the weather here, but yeah, let me know down in the comment section.
All right, now it's time to clean the closet. This is the command center, you guys. That's what I like to call it in here. It is a hot mess up in here. It's just stuff everywhere. I need to declutter some of this stuff in here and pretty much just get it all nice and clean because it's looking a hot mess. But I have changed a few things since you guys seen it last time. I know over on my Instagram, I usually update you guys there. But if you aren't following me over on Instagram, I'll leave it below. I'll leave it linked below so you can just tap it and then head over to Instagram and follow me. But I'm just going to clear everything out, get this area all nice and clean. The floor area was pretty filthy. So this is a high traffic zone. So it was much needed that I get in here and do some cleaning. Yeah, here we go again.
now moving along to the main entryway part so i will be doing a bit of recycling i have to sort through that stuff in those bins i just put that stuff in there after i did the grocery haul there were some things in there that were from later on well earlier this week but um i don't normally put it right there but i mean there's nothing wrong with putting it in those bins because it does get it out of the way but the floor area here was quite filthy i do plan to put a runner in this section in this area but i'm still looking and debating on if i want to or not but i feel like it will really you know catch a lot of the dirt that comes in and out but i mean we are a family of five so i mean i feel like i really can't get away from that i guess but it may help a little bit. Let me know what y'all think. Should I put a runner in this part? Because this space is a whole lot bigger than the bathroom, I did not get down and scrub. I think it would have made much more of a difference, but I just didn't feel like doing all of that. And I have been cleaning for hours now, and I know Lauren was about to wake up really soon, so I really wanted to knock this out in a hurry. But I feel like it did um, change up the look of the space. I feel like it did do a deep cleaning, but I feel like it would have been better results if I would have scrubbed the grout a little bit more.
right y'all so we are near the end of the video i really hope you guys got tons of spring cleaning motivation i hope this video got you up and moving to tackle some cleaning with me if you did clean along with me make sure you let me know down in the comment section don't forget to go over and check out sean's channel i know she has tons of more motivation for you if you need that extra motivation but thank you so much for being here and i will see y'all back on part five but whether you're watching in the morning the afternoon or the evening i hope you have a good one bye y'all